Hello, and welcome to Date Night. I'm Chorps Away. I'm Devious Vacuum, reading the stream to see what the political cartoon is. And you are the <laughs> oh stars. Oh my god. 40 loved! We got owned. That's a good joke. Wow, I can't believe you finally told a good joke in one of <laughs> thank these you. comments. It'll be the, uh, thank you. Look. <laughs> Um, it's like a, it's like, it's like the migratory Paper birds. Fools. It passes by once a year. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. Oh God, is the stream on April Fool's? This, I, I won't be able to handle it Are we it streaming on April? No. Are we it's April's Saturday. Fool? No. Wait, no, because we're going to be, yeah, because we're going to be, I'm going to be on vacation. During right, April I was just very fool. scared, so. Yeah. Not, we're going to be back on April's 4th. Ray asks, why are we always unwitting? I want to be witting. <laughs> well, maybe if we wouldn't end up in these scenarios, we could be more witting. But we're both unwitting this time. <laughs> Not a we are all unwitting. Us. I'm always saying this. Yeah. Um, Chad, I'm drinking, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper's Strawberries and Cream Zero Sugar, um, an intellectual drink for the Chosen Ones, the official girl boss drink of date night. <laughs> This is this is women respecting juice. I fu we finally right. found it. We've distilled it. Yeah, uh, it's um, delicious. And as soon as we get as soon as we get the Dr Pepper brand um, brand marketing together. Yeah, you'll, uh, you'll change will... your channel points to a picture of this can. No, they're gonna change it to be called not strawberries and cream, but it's gonna be called date night women respecting juice. To make up for um, Dr Pepper Ten, it's not for women. The, right. Remember that it's it's just for men or whatever. This is Dr. Dr. Pepper exclusively for women. Yeah. If you if if you don't go by um, feminine pronouns, they'll shoot you. Oh my god. That's why the can's pink because it's for women. Yeah. yeah. Also because it would hide the blood stains. Because also I, I've come from like my one weakness is that I think all blood looks like Danganronpa. So. <laughs> All blood looks like tab to you. Yeah. Or pink sauce. Look out. It's dangerous. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> a topical. It's Pi Day. It's Pi Day, by the way. It's 314. C call us Silicon Valley Bank because this is the run. <laughs> oh, my God. So much has happened, everyone. You know what else happened? My birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. It was my birthday. I'm 34 years old and I'm doing this. That's incredible. Yeah. I'm 15 and I'm doing this. <laughs> uh, you're, you know, you're so mature for your age. Thank you. That's not true and you're lying to me, but I appreciate it. <laughs> well, if you're 15. Um, that, that's still you're, not true. If you were perchance 31, you would be uh, very 15 for your age. That's right. <laughs> Right, it says how <laughs> how long have you been fifty? I know what you are. I know That's what right. you are. <laughs> Say it out loud. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Unfortunately, now I can only think when Chargy I hear that I can me... only think of that the the homophobic dog. Chargy made me a, a animated GIF for my birthday. Oh dang! Yeah, she made me a rotating three D devious vacuum. Hold on, I'll I'll send it to you. I'll okay. Send it to you in sl in in Slack. <laughs> Thank, thanks for slacking slack. it to me. Okay, yeah, because we uh, slack, we, we yeah. also work together. Uh, yeah. Uh, the office address is... <laughs> 69, 69. Look yeah. at it. Oh, it's a Pico. Hell yeah. It's great. That rocks. Um, Horrible. Just like me. Yeah, anyways. You can um, put that on the screen if you want. Oh, later. yeah. Let me, let me figure out how to do that while we talk about what happened last stream in the video's game. Great. Um, you can, you can always, then you can always have it to put on the screen whenever I'm going DVAC mode. <laughs> oh yeah, this can, this can be like, um, this can be like right next to the live slug reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, last time, I don't remember what happened last time. So many events uh, have happened in my life. We went to the museum. Was... Okay. Oh, we learned about, we learned about the concept of death. Yeah, we, we did better at fishing. <gasps> What a week it was for me. <laughs> yeah, we we had we oh had a God. we had a real come to Jesus moment about our recognition that we have been chasing after a dead person for a long time without really thinking about it. And now yeah. like, apparently we have to have a big we have to have a big boy convo with um 
with our two uh, our two our two uh, caretakers. Yeah, our two beautiful wives um, who are apparently not married. Um, They're not married. We learned we learned that Juliet uh, had uh, raised a human child. She had a daughter, and uh, yes. the daughter died of old age. Uh, and that's how she learned ago. to be human because she was a vampire. Yeah, and she has not told Aspen about this. Aspen doesn't know about this, so that tells me that Juliet and Aspen have not been friends for a super long time yet. Right, or it's just one of those things that she doesn't feel willing to talk about. But clearly, it hasn't been that recent. It's been within yeah. a few decades. And uh, Juliet was sur surprisingly emotionally closed off. Like, you think that she, she comes across as someone who's very in control of her emotions, um, but clearly she still has a lot of fear regarding emotion like she even being an immortal being who most certainly has like killed people or seen people die um in horrible ways being a vampire um it was still you know nervous and couldn't figure out how to tell miho that her person that she's looking for is probably dead um and she and Aspen, you know, didn't tell her because they were trying to figure out how to say it. And it was kind of, kind of a cowardly move. I, I, I excuse Aspen a lot more than I excuse Juliet. Again, being immortal. Mm -hmm. um, like, Are you, you, you the probably stream, should the have that tool set. Um, right now, I am. Yeah. I had it paused. Oh, yeah. you, should, you should just turn <laughs> off. <laughs> wow, it's me. The star of the channel. <laughs> Wow! I'm the specialist one. That's me right now. Yeah, so I guess it's we have to have a big... every day of my life. Yeah, but we have to have a big conversation between Aspen and Juliet now, which probably is also going to have to force Juliet to tell Aspen about her daughter. Yeah, maybe. Um, so yeah, definitely surprised at how emotionally, like, Card. cut off um, that, that Juliet still is. That she still has so oh, much yes. difficulty expressing emotion. Yeah. Um, and that's very interesting. And uh, Miho was very upset at everybody for not telling her that her person is probably dead. She's also kind of mad at herself for not, you know, putting it pieces together. Um, I still last week I expressed that 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 really like took like took me out of my suspension of disbelief. The idea that Miho would never have thought about this before in a way that mattered to the point where it became such a shock like why didn't you tell me she says to them to Juliet and yeah Aspen, like, I feel like that's the me? part that's the issue everything else I think is pretty much fine yeah I I right now my position is that I feel like from what we know of the story so far it would have been more effective if she had simply not been willing to engage with this information that she like knew somewhere in her heart that it was true but um you know, I didn't ever really want to like talk about it. And maybe instead of reacting with anger, reacted, you know, sort of with frustration, but not like directly as if she had been betrayed by Juliet and Aspen. Um, yeah, the we'll anger part's the real the, issue. We'll see what the story does with this information. I'm very curious to what sort of situation they had to work backwards from that ended them up at, it's, she ne she didn't know this. <laughs> um, well, so we'll see. I got great news. What's Time done to continue. is done. All right. I didn't leave anything on the stream, did I? Oh, thank God. Okay. I I just I had it I have it paused. Um, but yeah, I, I was just worried I had left I had left like you know something on there. I don't know what no, I would be worried about, okay. but I can always unpause it if you want me to check. But I found no, that I'm it's good. been I can uh, check online. lowering the quality of my Discord screen share when I have the stream open at the same time. No, it's all good. We got to go to the botanical garden. Yeah, time to talk to them. Charky says, did I get rid of the watching without audio thing? No. No. Also, I I understand why that's there, but I've only ever seen it used, um, and I have only used it to um, be antagonizing in chat. <laughs> so. Oh, is that why you have it in in jordan's chat uh sometimes i'll turn it on in jordan's chat just to go love the stream so far and i'll put it like a smiley face because i'm an asshole <laughs> no. i just turn it on for one message and then turn it off and i think it's funny mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Did she invite them both to the grave? No, it's just near the botanical garden. Okay. The cemetery is near the botanical garden. Right, I'm just worried that we're going to walk through the botanical... Like, it's like, oh, both of you need to meet me at the grave. <gasps> Maybe. That Someone wants to happen. offer promotion of my channel viewers, followers, view chat box. Oh my god! There have been so many of these. Yeah. Oh yeah, Charky, uh, that is on your end. If you click the chat identity button, you can turn on you can turn on which badges you're you're showing. Mm-hmm. That's right. I hit the big time. It's certainly there are chat bots in my chat now too. Waiting instead of waited for. Hi, Aspen. Good evening, Aspen. I hope we didn't keep you waiting for long. No, not at all. Besides, I can hardly complain when it gives me an opportunity to catch up on some reading. Oh. I thought about exploring the gardens a little, but I wasn't sure I'd be able to find my way back out. <laughs> Aspen also bad oh, at directions, Aspen. apparently. Yeah. Aspen's from a freaking generation where she only knows how to get anywhere with her dang phone. I am also from this generation, so. Yeah. Before that, I used to look up the, the Not to say look it up on Google Maps boring, and then print out the instructions and take I it loved me. doing that. I don't do that anymore. No, we don't need to anymore because our phones are better. Really go yeah. else. You know, that's a good point from, um, from Miho. Why don't they, like, hang out at a restaurant or something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess it hasn't been that long. I've never been here before either, so I'm eager to see the gardens. Aspen, you live here. It's been a while since. Wow, been isn't here that myself. how it is? Yes, I, believe I guess so. A nice spot. When you live somewhere, I used to visit yeah. with. Since it says, why don't they meet at the suspiciously mono ethnic cafe from friends? What do you think the <laughs> bell house is? <laughs> Stonebridge Gully. That sounds rather poetic. Perhaps I'll use it in a story sometime. <laughs> ah, Pine Hill Park, too. Whoever named these gardens was having fun, weren't they? <laughs> Aspen, Aspen's so funny. <laughs> She's just so normal. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> She's just the most normal person. She's like, oh, that's crazy. This garden sounds silly. He just laid right down on the floor when we asked him to. The absolute madman. <laughs> Sorry, one of the photos there caught my eye, and I wanted to take some notes for further research. I hadn't realized there was more to this park than just this one garden. Crayday says she's the most dad at pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, this really is a meat lovers. <laughs> There's an old estate for one thing. Also another garden just for native plants. There's even a cemetery not far away that's apparently part oh. of it. Who? Oh. Okay, they're, they're just going somewhere else. Okay. I, I really was worried they were just going to walk to the, <laughs> the cemetery again. Yeah, new background. This is cute. Would this yeah. Day? Oh, Juliet. It's breathtaking. Since as As Aspen goes, Cece's pizza, she seems lovely. <laughs> God. <laughs> Hungry Howies, so am I. <laughs> they have a botanical garden like this in uh in San Francisco that I went to one time when I was there for work. Me and Let's Plays Kubo uh, went there and it was really nice. It's a lot like this. Think, it was just Miho? lovely to walk through. How does through. it compare to some of the sites you've seen? Yeah, it's nice to be in a botanical garden every it's now and again. Nice. I like the view from up on Mount Victoria better though. They had like labels it's for all the plants and like where they there. were from and it was Perhaps like I here's all the like biomes that have the same you the should. same conditions as like you can this see the latitude. From the top. Cool. Mm. I used to go up there to clear my hen before I started living at the library. I'll be sure to invite you along then.
So, um, was anybody supposed to tell me that my guy was dead? <laughs> Meme format. So was anyone going to tell me that my person died hundreds of years ago? Or yeah. was I just going to have to find out from a post about Julia's <laughs> a daughter's grave? I never told you anything about my person, right? About Tongyin. Oh, is this her chance to sort of let out all that she knows about her person? Yeah. I was just a regular fox back then. I don't know how old I Maybe was. Maybe this is the thing she's the getting from it, like is that. more just being able to talk about all this person and share them. Snacks and lying in the sun. I mean, that's really all you can that do at this point, really right? Mm -hmm. all day long. No hobbies or jobs or responsibilities. Just existing. Also, I don't know how old I was. Foxes don't think like that has the same energy as, hey, people don't usually tweet like this. <laughs> I knew what humans were in the same way I oh knew my what God. leopards and bears were. Big and scary and something to avoid. It was rare to see one in the forest, but it happened. Most of the time, they were noisy enough that you could hear them coming from far away and hide. That was the first thing that was different about my person, Tongyin. I was taking a nap in one of my favorite spots, an old log that had fallen over. Tongyin came all the way over and sat down before they woke me up. And when they did, I panicked. I ran and hid as fast as I could. I think they were surprised too. They didn't try to catch me or stop me. Instead, they kept their distance and tossed me a little bit of the meat they were eating. I didn't trust them and jerky. didn't know why they were sharing, but it smelled pretty good. I assume some kind of so jerky probably existed in this time. Eventually they I feel went. like drying meat has been a been a way to keep it fresh when I went back for, to my you know, I forever. Tonging showed up again. It probably just wasn't as good as modern jerky. jerky. I ran away again, but... They still didn't chase me, and let me come back on my own. We did the same thing the next day, and the next day, and the next. Then, one day, I was in a new part of the forest. I liked wandering around even as a fox. They didn't have planes back then, so I couldn't I smuggle was onto them. I to where I was going, hmm. when suddenly, oh! it felt like my leg was on fire. This is I bad. I didn't know what it was at the time. But I'd walked right into a trap that a hunter left. Oh no. I couldn't move as much as I tried. And it's yeah, still dry, the scariest dry thing meat, that ever happened to uh, me. I was sure I was gonna goes die. Goes back to a really long time ago. Okay. In Korean history. Uh, okay. Right, history of that part of the world. According to They Wikipedia, love jerky. They love it. So they definitely Finally, had it. Some, some kind of dried up. meat. Some kind of At from first, something. Yeah. I thought they were there to finish me off. Instead, they were worried for me. They knelt down and got my foot out of the trap, and then wrapped it with a part of their shirt to stop it from bleeding. That was when I finally figured out they weren't going to hurt me. I kept going to the grove to see them, and they kept being there. I let them get close enough to touch me after that. Still, they didn't do it much. It was only to check on my leg and make sure it was healing okay. This maxed out One my social went, link with them. And they were <laughs> like always, but they brought a lot more food than usual. And they gave it all to me, hardly eating anything themselves. After I was finished, we sat together for a while. They sat on my log and I laid in the grass nearby. Finally, they got up like usual and set two things on the ground. One was a bag of food, the same as they had just given me. The other was a little paper scroll. They patted me on the head for the first and only time. Then they left our grove. At the time, I didn't think that day was anything special other than the extra snacks. But it was the last time I'd ever see them. When I came back the next day, they weren't there. I waited, just in case they were late. 
but they never showed up. The scrolls this is so fucked up. Some of the food were still there. <laughs> Other, animals Other animals came and ate the food. A lot of the food, but they didn't want the paper. I took the scroll with me when I left. I didn't know what it was, but it was theirs, so it had to be important. My only option was to carry it in my mouth. I went back again the next day, expecting them to show up, but they never did. I don't know how many more days it took before I realized they weren't coming back. Once I did, Zhongyan just went was all out I for cigarettes. I kept Aww. looking for them, but I couldn't I find them. I remember from the beginning as that as um, they were on vacation. Yeah, or something like that, right? That they, they were only here for a temporary amount of time. Yeah. I didn't even know why I wanted to see them so badly. Just that I did. While I was thinking about that, I started to choke. <gasps> something came out oh, is this of the nowhere pearl? and was stuck yeah. in my throat. Is this how magic works? Finally, yeah. I coughed it up. A bead. I'd never seen it before. And definitely never swallowed it. I left it and went back to my den. But it was waiting for me there too. No matter where I went, it was always waiting. So finally, I touched it with my nose. Everything after that happened so fast. One second I was there, just a normal fox. The next, I was in this new form. Not sure how or why. Some things came to me naturally, like using my new body and walking. Thank God. Could you imagine having to learn to walk again? To back into a fox. <sighs> but I still thought like an animal and acted like one. I didn't know any words that I could even think with. I had to learn those and all kinds of other human behaviors the hard way after getting chased away from villages and strangers that I met. Over time, I learned how to hide and blend in and steal and just how to survive. I followed Jungin's scent all the way to the ocean. I'd never seen so much water, not even close. I had no idea how huge it was. I boarded a ship like Jungin had, not knowing that it would take me somewhere different than the one they took. And I've been looking for them ever since. They sound like they were a wonderful person. I can see why you never stopped searching for them. They were truly special, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they really were. This is also how she learns that, um, why uh, movies that make you cry are good. I guess this is sort of that, too. It's like understanding that, like, you know, things that hurt can also be good. Mm -hmm. Ray asking the tough questions, like when she first transformed into a human, did she have clothes? Well, now that she, when she transforms back, she already has the clothes on. So I feel like yeah. it probably came with clothes. Yeah. Or she stole some, either way. I think once she had clothes on, those clothes were incorporated yeah. into the transformation. And I think she should be allowed to steal them. I'm sorry for yeah, getting so mad. But the at very you first time? I don't know. Yeah. And for how I acted this morning with you, Aspen. Miho already resolved her own feelings. That's good. But that's another thing, too. It feels like you're always looking after me or taking care of me. There are lots of things I'm still learning, but I'm not weak. I've taken care of myself for a long time, you know. So, I don't want it to be like that anymore. I want you to be honest with me from now on, both of you. Even if it's something that would make me sad or angry. I promise that I won't run away without saying anything. I won't just disappear no matter what happens. Because if we're really friends, then we should trust each other, right? 
That's one of the things I've learned. Wow, friendship, you know, it's magic. I was about to say, if there was one <laughs> word I needed to use to describe friendship, probably magic. Yeah. That's the, that's the date night motto. Say, yeah. And I agree. I'm trying to get it copyrighted. I'm getting a lot of uh, backlash at the uh, at the office for some reason, but I'll figure it out. For years, I think they're mad they didn't think of it first. Yeah. Open, but guarded. If I maintained a comfortable distance, even from those I call my dearest friends, then I would be protecting myself. By never getting to know anyone too well, by withholding any meaningful details of my life, I thought to avoid the pain of loss again. But all I've done is keep myself from experiencing that joy of companionship again, while even causing hurt to others. I'm not too experienced when it comes to being honest to myself, or perhaps only honest to a point. But you're right, Miho. Classic vampire that behavior. Yeah, for real. From here on out, I'll We get it, you're a vampire. Mm-hmm. More real. With both of you. I'm real. As such, Aspen, there's something that I'd like to tell you. Aspen's really going on a roller coaster today. Yeah, Aspen, Aspen really is just like a... Just like someone watching th like through a window, you know, it's just like, <laughs> damn, these this is unrelatable. <laughs> she's yeah, she's I'm gonna normal. write a book about it. Yeah. She could. It'd be crazy. Yeah, the twist, Kyuve, the twist is that Aspen's been imagining this the whole time <laughs> to cope. Yeah, it zooms out and there's a snow globe. <laughs> She's in the hospital. <laughs> She's been in a coma the whole time. And also, there's a snow globe with them in it. And uh, also, Ashram Pokemon is in the bed next to her. Also in a coma. <laughs> and uh, Chucky from Rugrats. And, uh... Yeah, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. God. Uh, I think I've run out of ones that I feel like I, I I see commonly or have heard about commonly. I should I don't say I say see commonly as if I actively seek out this information. <laughs> Thank you for telling also, me. Also Asper's going, uh so that's a lot. She was a wonderful um, so that just like <laughs> I wish I could have met her. I wish you could have as well. She oh, Sid's right, she's also in purgatory. <laughs> And I know she would have loved to share them. As for all the other stuff, first of all, I promise to both of you, I want us to be truly friends as well. Aspen's really on her left foot here. She is at a disadvantage. She is, As she is, no, oh man, she's doing her best. Aspen's like, I have spent the last hour trying to think of a secret that I guys could tell you, but like... <laughs> I don't know, like, I shoplifted from my high school once. Yeah. You know? One time I had a crush. In fifth grade, I had a crush on a girl in my, in my school, and I didn't know how to tell her, so I just ran up to her and said, get out of my school, and I've always felt bad about it ever since. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't like, really compare to, to... Yeah, exactly. See? I don't have anything quite so dramatic in my past. Yeah. Yeah. I, can hardly fall I like, fought a girl over... I fought a girl who was trying to steal my lunch once. Kind of funny, actually, and a little scary. <laughs> Messi was yeah. right. Says Aspen claims she had cancer to win a fandom <laughs> argument. <laughs> she would though. Oh my god! Like when she was younger. Oh my because god. As someone who will one day be past tense, I often wonder about how I'll be remembered when I'm gone. Well, I don't have anything as dramatic, but I was the person who wrote the, who edited the John Green Tumblr post to say that he loved that the I taste of. <laughs> Time soon, but still, I hope that someone speaks of me just as fondly someday. 
Way to make it about you, Aspen. <laughs> there will be more than enough time for me to worry about that in the future, though. Right now, I'm glad we had this conversation. I don't know if I was really a part of it, but I'm glad we had it. <laughs> I'm also here. What would be said tonight? Aspen really is also here. Me too. That's what the A in Aspen stands for. I still have a lot to think about, and I'm still sad. But I don't want to be sad forever. I know it's not what they would have wanted for me either. But I do know that I'm lucky I met you too. And that you're my friends. Since it's Aspen, are you trying to like death that. flag? <laughs> Wham cars, yes, John Green is the one that wrote Paper Towns and also don't describe him like this. <laughs> <laughs> the, the man is married with children. <laughs> I love to have meaningful conversations with my homies in the Agreed. botanical gardens. Well said. <laughs> Brady says, and this is probably actually correct. That's Aspen's great. damage is being a gifted kid in elementary school, and now she has generalized <laughs> anxiety disorder. Yeah, it's like me. We have so much in common to talk about on our date. She's, she's the, the woman who made that post that was like, gamers, why didn't you tell us that the last of us, after I watched The Last of Us, I realized that video games have great stories. Tell me more about them, signed book readers. And I respond to her post and I'm like, oh my gosh, bestie, you should play The House in Fata Morgana. And then she does. And then she's like, this changed my life. And then we fall in love. Cool. <laughs> It's like, um, it's like the, it's, I mean, that's better than oh the, God, um, this, this is great, first of all, but this is, that's better than the, um, the Roger Ebert one where he's like, video games can't be art, and people try to argue, and he's like, okay, what's a video game with the biggest boobs in them? At least this one's like, what's a great story like Last of Us? <laughs> this is adorable, though. Aspen's just having trouble processing this, that's why yeah. she looks like that. <laughs> This is just a like crazy ass moment. Aspen's face is, yeah. You know what? In every picture, I feel like one person always looks like this, right? Like, yeah. Like she, like maybe she's like accidentally sneezing, <laughs> right? While when, this gets taken. When we, when we do our like end of game thoughts of, and too. we need images, like this Aspen's face, that's my, that's the one I want you to use for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> By the way, Aspen, I do believe this weekend is a special occasion. Am I correct? That's right. It's the Scholastic Book Fair for adults, which happens in our super future. <laughs> wow. Well, trying to ignore that. Is it her there, birthday? But, yes. Wait. Oh my God! It might be a birthday. Wait. What? What happens this weekend? My birthday. This Friday Thank you. is my birthday. Woo! <laughs> a reminder that. Like we are going to have the craziest birthday party. Oh my god. Whoa! Humans have parties for that, right? <laughs> are we gonna have a party? <laughs> 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 Alright, we gotta invite all our friends. Juliet, you're in for sure. Miho, hell yeah. Lena's also gonna be there. Uh... <laughs> turning 12. <laughs> Aspen, come wow. on. How old are you Miho turning? is, though. Not 12. Aspen, you they're both 800 years old. This woman is like 26 years old. You got to do your whole life. This is so funny. That's not fair that only 12 year olds get to have them. It's not like that. They're just one of those things that you grow out of. 
<laughs> Raida <laughs> says she has the different kind of lying about her age problem that's fueled by the existential dread of befriending immortals, right? Like, she's gonna sound like a baby when she's like, oh, I'm 24, or whatever. Yeah. Why do you grow out of them? It's just part of being an adult. You get older and older, and you reach the real world, and then you don't feel like having a party, I suppose. We can make it a small the party. Real world. When you're young, it's exciting getting older, because there's so much you can't do as a child. Yeah, like pay taxes. Ah, I'm so excited to be an adult. <laughs> Yay! Once you're an adult, you realize that what you thought adult life would be like isn't real. Is this? So I hear this all the time. Cake and ice cream, you start worrying about how many calories are in each. I, we're always, people are always saying this, like adult life isn't how I imagined it would be when I was a child. What's how did you calorie? imagine it would be? Because I didn't fucking imagine shit. I think a lot of people imagine that adult means you get to do whatever you want, which means that you play video games all day and eat like cookies. I never, I never in my life imagined that when I was an adult, I would just get to play video games all day. I don't know. I think I did, some people yeah, think that it's a lot more it. carefree than it actually is. I didn't imagine it, or I would, like, imagine, like, such a specific thing, like, I saw adults doing something, and then I was like, oh, I might do that someday, like, a very right. specific thing, like, opening a bank account, or, like, something like that, but, like, no, I wasn't, like, imagining, like, when I'm an adult, it's gonna be like this, I don't think that's true, I don't think that's really something people do, I think it's made up. I suppose you're right. For the record, I'm it was 24! I was oh my right, God, I was right. God, Aspen! I'm the real gamer. Still, I'm not the partying type. Plus, I told my parents I'd go visit them this weekend. <laughs> Rene says, I had stupid <laughs> thoughts as a kid, like, oh, when I'm grown up, I'll be able to move my eyes. <laughs> because my eyes never moved when I watched them in the mirror. That's so upsetting. That's very <laughs> upsetting. I feel you could make a little horror comic about that. <laughs> This is two sentence horror in one sentence. Yeah. Mind, I'll be back well before twenty four hours have passed. Uh, that's wonderful. I'm sure they'll be overjoyed to see you. I'm sure they will be, at least for a little while. I still wouldn't want to stay for more than a weekend, even without Miho to keep in mind. Longer that's than just that, how visiting the parents is. I would probably go crazy. God, not really what it is, what it's like being 24, evening, though. Would you mind going with me to the bus stop on that day, Miho? Just to be extra safe. Yeah, of course. Even without a party, would you let us treat you to dinner on Friday evening? We can go wherever you like. Oh, they are going out to a place. Yeah! Oh my nice. god. Thank you. They'll just be like, uh, we'll go to the bell house. It Tell them it's your birthday so they'll sing you a song. That's easy. Because they wouldn't know what to get you anyway. <laughs> Where do you want to go? I'm not sure yet, but I'll let you two know. Maybe you can come over on Friday evening. <gasps> we get to go to her apartment? Oh my god. Come over? How aesthetic Where? is it? It's it's extremely booktube, right? Like it's extremely yeah. mm -hmm. like booktuber. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Dark academia. I'm thinking it's like it's like really soft uh, colors, well, like um, most special, mostly whites, like white um, bookshelves and everything, it. and just I the really most immaculately it. like um, tidied uh, book organization in the world. Mm -hmm. Also, like some fake plants. You. Yeah, a lot of plants. I mean, it, it's uh, the definition of average. Fake plants, specifically. Sure it can fit three people. Well, cause she can't, she can't keep them I alive. The she's so busy. Right. She's so busy, and I also just you know. Anything. Coach Levy thinks it's gonna be a bitch you live like this situation. No. Good point. You'll feel right at home. Like Aspen there. is clearly overworked and out of energy, but I don't think it could go that bad. She doesn't seem the kind. Since says, Thank how can mirror hand invitation. hook car mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Great. I'll clean up and make sure the cat. Well, Amakar says, could hey, Miho handle the Bart? Been a while since we've no. Had company. No. Humans can't handle the Bart. What, yeah. what are you talking why about? Would a, why would you subject what? a fox to this? 
It's, or anyone. It's immoral for humans to, yeah. That's animal uh, cruelty. Do you have any plans for the day? Not yet. Why? I was planning to go see a movie. <gasps> a movie? Would you like to come with me? What's what are we the watching? Movie? You're more than welcome too, of course, Juliet. But I'm they're reshowing Les Mis. For you. <laughs> it's Fifty Shades of Grey. So. I'll be up a while longer, but I wouldn't be able to make it through an entire movie. I hope that you enjoy it, though. I understand. They gotta say what movie it is, right? It's fine if you don't want to come along, but the showing starts in an hour, so we'd need to leave soon. I prefer to get there before... Kiwi <laughs> says Miho 45 minutes from now. Why are those people huge? <laughs> My girl Aspen at the matinee! <sighs> That's right. Oh, shit. Um, oh, we gotta watch a movie, right? We gotta watch a movie. We gotta watch a movie. What are we gonna do resting at home? We're gonna watch TV? We're watching a yeah. movie. Watching I'll, a movie. I'll save here in case we just want to go back, but... Also, this is related. I saw this recently, and I, I just have to read this out, because I think it's the funniest thing. Uh, it's, a, it's a two sentence horror, which made me yeah. think about it. Jigsaw's voice crackled over the loudspeaker. <laughs> the night of you have one minute to decide the birthday uh, to divide the birthday clique evenly amongst yourselves. We looked at the cake, pre-sliced into eight perfectly equal parts, then at <laughs> the knife beside it, then at each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah. How would you do it? Sure, I'll go. It's like watching a really uh, big TV, You'd have right? to cut all... Okay, you cut all of the eight pieces into nine equal nine pieces. Nine pieces, yeah. yeah. You don't have to kill anyone. You yeah. could probably do that in a minute if everyone cut their own piece of cake. There's only one knife. Was there only one knife? They could do it. Precisely. I think they could figure it. They could sure stack pieces together. Time. Have fun, both of you. You I'll could you um, squish the whole cake into like a big mush and then just divide it into nine, nine handfuls. pieces. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya. Also, like it's like a really big TV. Good night. Are you ready to go? I really need to know Aspen's taste in movies. They have to tell yeah. us, right? I am. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna tell us. They have to tell us what movies she's seeing. We're going to see Tar. So what movie are we going to see? <laughs> it's based off a book that I read a long time ago. I should have mentioned that it's Okay, this could be anything. Is oh. the issue. The problem is this could be anything. Nah, it's fine. What's a horror movie? <laughs> a scary movie. This uh, they're going to go see it. They're seeing it. Oh my god. She's now, on Tumblr. Do you think it's do you think it's chapter 1 or chapter 2? Um this came out pretty recently, so probably chapter 2. How okay. How is I'm always well, asking he's this. Not a regular clown, although those are <laughs> enough on their own. He's not a normal clown. To see, I suppose. Hmm. All right. I didn't know you like scary things. I don't watch them that often, but like I said, I read the book a long time ago, so I already know what happens. It's just interesting to see how well it gets translated to the screen. If it ends up being too much for you, just let me know. Not everyone has the stomach for these sorts of films. Okay. I can't oh, imagine eat popcorn. Worse. Wait. Sorry, what were you saying? What is a worst? I can't imagine like a worse thing to bring Miho to for like her first movie to be like a horror movie, also like an adaptation that's pulling from like very specific source material. Yeah. Um, it's probably part two. Uh, like. Which I guess like the parts are sort of separated in a way that you don't really need to know one for the other, but like, you know, you're missing out. You want any snacks? Yeah, QB, I think she would also like lean over and tell tell Miho when it diverges from the source material, which like means nothing to Miho, yeah. Right, like, oh, this is different in the book. Of course. What do they have? 
Is this, this might be Mio's first time with well, popcorn, right? Traditionally, you yeah. have popcorn at the movies. They also have candy and other things. All right, what would be the worst candy you think to feed a fox? Warheads. Um, okay, I was thinking like there's cookie dough bites, but yours might be good too. If you'd like, we can share some. Oh, I think warheads are specifically an issue because like they would try to bite on it and they can't, Sounds right? Good. Mm. And it would hurt them. Yeah. Machine like that before. Let's change that then. Whoa, that's huge. That's because popcorn is a zero calorie food. <laughs> Not true. They charge for it, it's only fair. <laughs> it's for, it's on, you know, you can eat a lot down. of popcorn before you get to the equivalent in chips though. Yeah, you can eat a lot of popcorn. Uh, you just need to use a little less uh, fake butter. Fake butter too. isn't food. Yeah, but it does have a it's lot of fat a, in it. It's just a lubricant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for yum yum down my throat. <laughs> it's not, it's, it's really, you shouldn't eat it because it's not It's not for humans. It actually yeah. goes in your car. <laughs> Miho also grabs the fucking thing of um, like the cheddar cheese, uh, like the cheddar cheese powder that you put on the cor uh, the popcorn. She just takes yeah. a handful of it and eats it. Oh, he eats it. Like, oh, yeah. this candy's really good. Oh, yeah. Uh, her ears would be more sensitive for the movies. Mm -hmm. Is it supposed to be this loud? Yes, but we're not. It's like the library. These are just previews for other movies that are coming out soon. But once the real thing starts, we're not supposed to talk. Although, it's not like there are many other people I think Miho would prefer to watch it. movies on TV. Or like a VHS. Yeah. yeah. She's been watching TV, though. Yeah. TV's right, too. Previews are always louder. Yeah, it's fucked up. Hell fucking yeah. Aw, oh, popcorn's so good. We won't bother anyone. It's just good to know for the next time you see a movie. Yeah, thankfully no one's here at the matinee mm. for It Chapter 2. <laughs> <Okay>. What's up? <laughs> this this sentence is really <laughs> funny by itself. <laughs> <laughs> I whisper romantically to my date. <laughs> just remember for next time. <laughs> Luckily, no one else is here at the matinee for It Chapter It's just you, me, and Pennywise, the clown. <laughs> the clown is on. Already a classic chaos. Oh I thought God, clowns were supposed to be funny, this? but apparently this one didn't get the memo. Um, this yeah. seems like a bad clown. Miho le leans over to Aspen and goes, ding, clowns are supposed to be funny. <laughs> This is so funny. <laughs> this, is, this is high art. Studio Elon does it again. I'm not bored, but I'm certainly not not exactly scared. Well, it's not like that scary, you know. <laughs> right? He says, when do we get the within minutes the clown is causing chaos point reward? You don't need that because... <laughs> Every minute it's of every stream, two clowns are causing chaos. <laughs> Brady says, I thought clowns were supposed to be funny. Actually, is the better one. I'm going to ban you. <laughs> <laughs> you can only use that for evil. And that's owning us. The movie lasts a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, that's the problem with it. It's a fucking huge yeah. book. She should have told you that. That's also the classic move. You go right before you would be hungry, because you're going to eat so much popcorn, you won't be hungry. Mm-hmm. Or you could buy a hot dog, too, but, like, you know. Yeah, you can just have a full meal. You can just, yeah. You just have like some it? mozzarella sticks. Yeah, or you go to one of those crazy, like, Alamo draft houses where they'll just, like, bring you a fucking pizza. Yeah. I don't think I was ever very scared, though. That's good. 
I thought I would be okay since I knew what was going to happen, but... Aspen, Aspen gets started by the jump scares, it's fair. Oh my god, my delicate flower. Yeah. I'll protect I you. <laughs> the, the funniest movie uh, story I ever had is I went to go see snakes on a plane with my mom. <laughs> yeah. And um one of the one of the, one of those like uh, one of the jump scare shots where like the snake jumps at the camera. <laughs> my mom got so scared she threw popcorn in my face. <laughs> Cuz she had the bag and it, she just like jerked back with the bag and <laughs> threw popcorn in my face. It wasn't. It wasn't even in 3D. No, it was just a normal movie. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure it was a normal one. Maybe That's next funny. Time I don't think it showed in 3D. Watch. And if not, the, the issue with uh, having glasses is that 3D movies suck balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yes. I think the only time I saw a 3D movie was for Spy Kids 3D, and that was at oh, home. Yeah. I don't. Re I definitely saw 3D movies when that was a thing, but I don't remember what I saw. So it okay. was probably Spy Kids 3D. Right, uh, like all of us. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, and we it, you just need to figure out where we're going next for our big trip. There's no one to have an event with. Yeah. But we gotta go somewhere. Okay. I assume that uh, yeah, because like, I assume we only get an event when we have a person there. So there's nothing to follow up with like Lena yet. Yeah. Hmm, where do we want to go? Where have we not been recently? We've been down to the waterfront. Um, I, I'm feeling like probably either Mount Victoria or Oriental Bay. So we haven't been there in a while. I feel like we haven't been, like to Mount Victoria on purpose in a while. I haven't seen a movie in theaters since before the pandemic. I still haven't seen one now. I don't know when I will see one in theaters again. I've probably watched more movies in the last year, though, than I've watched in a really long time because Urchin has shown me so many horror movies that he likes, and I've been watching The Last Drive-In with Joe Bob Briggs on Shudder, which is great. We're just really turning into, like, that bisexual couple that likes horror movies. Hello, iCat. I feel like working on movies probably makes you less watch movies. Because you're already fucking sick of them, you know? We have to we have to get back to um part of the woods and ask Maddie how she feels because she's a film student. <laughs> yeah, how she feels about films. Yeah, uh, yeah, cinema. Have we already talked about how how would Aspen and Maddie interact if they were oh. around each other? No, no, we haven't. But okay, so this this was prompted by some fan art for the Kickstarter or some official art for the Kickstarter for the um the physical edition of um the Studio Elon games. Mm -hmm. um which includes uh lena and um morgan from heart of the woods and a character from highway blossoms mm -hmm. and we uh asked how so D uh, dvac asked how would morgan react to lena and i said i think it would go okay but they would not be friends and then later <laughs> i said maddie would kill lena <laughs> yes um, absolutely so we have to consider, okay, so Maddie and Aspen now, right? Yeah, I, they're, see, they have a lot in common, but the things they have in common are very toxic. So I think that they oh, would, yeah. like, outdo, they would keep trying to outdo each other in, like, a toxic way. Right, they're, they're friends in a very, like, villainous way. 
Yeah, like, because Maddie would talk about a film that she really enjoyed, and then Aspen would be like, well, it's not like it was in the book. The book was better. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Like, and, and like, uh, Maddie wouldn't even know that there was a book version, right? But she would pretend to know. Or, like, she would know. She definitely hasn't read it, right? Like, you know, in oh, a yeah. way. She's like, I don't know. I liked it better in the movie. They would... And, they would and then Aspen's like, like, what the adap- fuck's wrong with you? Like, adaptations of Dracula and, like, Nosferatu Ooh, yeah. and stuff like that, where, like, it's also a part of film history, and it's, like, really separate from the source material after a certain point, where yeah. it, like, becomes its own thing, and they would argue about it. Okay, speaking of, you said you <laughs> want to go to Mount Victoria? Yeah, let's check it out. Let's be tall. They're dominating the lookout today. Seagulls always dominate every space they're in. Good. They deserve it. <laughs> huh? Yo! Oh! A meter long sandwich. That's right. <laughs> oh, no. That's the five dollar meter long. Oh my god! Also, not even I managed to steal one of those. Ah, oh, we just get wow. to spend time. Where are we going now? Let's go to Cuba Street. Yeah. Gay. Happy Pride, everyone. <laughs> Wait, who said this? This is a great. Um, chat. Ray Day says, Maddie loves Eraserhead, and o- the only thing Aspen knows about David Lynch is that he directed Dune. <laughs> <laughs> Which he has very strong opinions about. Uh... Random woman. Damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. Ah, damn. Oh, <gasps> it's time. All right. We're going to, see. to Aspen's house. Time to see it. <laughs> it says I'm random man. Dr. Light built me. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Right, this isn't you are the stars. Great. Yep. A star man's. This is the place. I believe she's on the ground floor. Oh, there it is. There it is. I think you were right. Miho, Juliet. I also see Olivia. luggage back there. Don't know what she's well, got she's- that for. She's going to visit her family. Oh, that's she's right. Taking, it's from visiting the family. She's taking her stuff in, like, normal luggage instead of just in a bunch of bags because she's so fancy. No, no that makes sense. Back, you two. <gasps> Wait. Does she have cats? What's wrong? I said, no, not you, Miho. <gasps> she's got cats. cats. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. My wife. She really is a booktuber. Has she ever considered making a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't Whoa. have to work as a barista anymore. She could probably make it, you know. There she is. It's you a right it's about a studio. The all white. Yeah, yeah, it's a studio. Gosh. These might be real plants, also. But dang, she's in a studio. Yeah. No wonder she hangs out other places all the time. <laughs> I hope that was a good kind of woe. <laughs> it's lovely, Aspen. I adore the nice room for a baby to have. Place. They make it feel. I think like Juliet's shocked. Is like, oh right, this is how Thank normal people have us. to live. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Was a good one. Miho, though, Don't is worry. legitimately impressed. Miho's like, this is the nicest room I've ever seen besides the other one I've been in. <laughs> yeah. 
babies. Sorry there's not more space to sit down. You can see why I don't have company over very often. You can sit on the bed if you'd like. Or the computer chair. Oh, it's fine. The end. I'm okay on the floor. I'm a fox. <laughs> Yes, happy birthday, Aspen. Here's to another wonderful year. Thank you. This year has been pretty good, I must say. Wish I could. It's also agree. been fucking crazy. <laughs> Can I help you? Hmm. You don't look any older. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. It doesn't just happen overnight on your birthday, though. Not that you would be aware of that, I suppose. Uh, chat, chat is suggesting various um, author names oh for Aspen's God. cats. Anyway, I see Hemingway, I see Tolstoy, I, I see Navikov. Yeah. <laughs> to do here, I believe. <laughs> now you understand. <laughs> Dostoevsky. That's fine. I don't mind just sitting around. But yeah, I'm always ready to eat. Damn same, Miho. Hmm. Have you decided where you want to go? <laughs> Your fiber says Carms and Klebnikov. <laughs> uh, Indestructible Cat says Shelly. Shelly's actually a good one. Yeah. We're gonna find out. So. Don't worry. There, we got it, right? Restaurant that isn't too far away that I enjoy, seafood. But don't go too very often. Hey, whenever I see food, I eat it. That's right, I'm on that diet. I'm okay with anything. I just like food. <laughs> For my birthday, Damn. gotta agree, I Miho. Got, I got fresh shrimp, and nice. uh, that Indeed. was very good. It's your birthday. Hell yeah! So Ate it like, raw, delicious. Like, like I was gonna say, like a shrimp cocktail. No, right, just fresh right. shrimp from the going, uh, you know from the grocery store. Like well, right when you say eat raw. Place. No, I, oh, I, that was a joke. I was lying. Oh, okay. I cooked it with garlic and lemon. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. Restaurant! That's how you know it's a real seafood restaurant, too, is when they have the buckets of utensils and napkins <laughs> in the middle yeah. of the table. Yeah. Also, stools. It sure yeah. fishy. It's supposed to. That means it's fresh. That's because of all the fish, Mia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, she can take the picture. She might be able to read some of it. Let me know if you need help reading anything, Miho. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the Velnauts could learn. <laughs> my god. Oh my god. One Fish and cell. corn. Well, what do you usually get here, Aspen? I get the corn fish. It's like a corn dog. <laughs> oh no! Crab, although it's very messy and expensive, so I've never had it. I usually get the clam chowder or fish and chips if I want to hate myself later. Get over it, Aspen! Oh my god! I, I got the idea that she has, like, a bodily reaction to it, right? Like, too much oil and fried food. Yeah. Not, like, a calorie-counting thing, but... Oh. What's chowder? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a thick soup. Oh. Oh, She's, she's gonna say it. Isn't it hard to eat clams? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say, what's soup? I couldn't get past the shells. They do that for you. No shells involved. Whoa! That's nice of them. <laughs> Me, I'm oh so my cool. God. I'm sure they'd be glad to hear that. Is there something you usually order when you go out to eat? Oh, I've never been to a restaurant before. Unless you can't smell <laughs> house. Well, I mean, not like this. I mean, she's been to yeah. a restaurant. We found out that she stole a pasta dish yeah, on the day never, that the moon landing been, happened. Yeah, she's never been well, to a restaurant as a patron. As a yeah. Right. At least. There we go. 
<laughs> it says, okay, I'll bite. What's clams? <laughs> I hope you enjoy your first time then. I will. Both of you, feel free to order whatever you'd like. Don't worry about the price. Don't worry, I wasn't. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mio's so epic. I love her! Wait... Is that... It's a crab. It's like, I'll have what he's having. The crab. Yes. Mio's an honorary games Cameron, says Raid. <laughs> Very true. Wow, we really, yeah. Finally, Studio Alon watched our streams and was like, we need to put a games Cameron in our games. We need games Cameron. Yeah, we need to get them in there. But they were like, the world isn't ready for the, for the first cisgender they them. <laughs> so they made a fox girl instead. And That's I, right. And I understand. But I don't know. Maybe we'll find out that Chungin was the world's first cisgender they them, and that's why they're a, a mythical figure. Oh, maybe. I want that. Exactly. I want what they're having. Yeah. I guess that makes sense. I think foxes could pierce a I crab's like the shell. Faces. The faces in this are funny. It's good. Like, <laughs> As it's like, oh dear. And Juliet's like, hoo hoo, this will be fun. Yeah. Sounds like it's settled then. Three crabs for everyone. Have you ever been here before, Juliet? Juliet's like, oh, I'm allergic to seafood. <laughs> As I'm sure you know, I don't go out to eat very often. I've been to similar restaurants before, though. You went to the Bell House back when it first opened, didn't you? I seem to recall you telling me that once. I did, yes. I can still remember what I had. A chai latte with a blueberry scone. That sounds like a solid order. Mm-hmm. Were you working there yet? It was a few years before I came to Welly. Although, Regina, my boss, wants to expand. There's going to be a second. That's right, it's time to start a franchise. Oh my goodness. She asked me if I would <gasps> Oh shit! That's an upgrade. You don't have to you don't have to work up front except for the opening part where you're still hiring people. Oh, congratulations. And you get to yell at them. That's quite yeah. the She'll be good she at that. Run the whole place? I would still be working for her, but otherwise, yes. I, I think she'd appreciate that. To do she wouldn't have to pretend to talk to Lena anymore. Yeah. It would be a lot more work and responsibility, obviously. It would take up much more of my time, too. I'm not sure if I want to put myself through that. That's understandable. I do think you'd be well suited for it, though. Yeah. You already do a lot at the other bell house. Thanks. Yes, it is tempting. I told her I'll think about it and give her an answer by the end of next month. The building it'll be in is already a coffee shop, so it won't take too long to convert. It all depends on some other things, really. Like what? Well, for one... Location. I'd been thinking about keeping this a secret until I hear... <gasps> oh, wait! I finally finished a draft of my manuscript. Oh! Hell yeah. I sent it off to a few publishers to see what they think. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, congratulations, Aspen. That's a stunning achievement. Yeah. What are you going to do with all your free time now? <laughs> oh, she thinks it's over. <clears throat> she thinks it's over. Me, Thank you. That's a good question. I'm sure I'll spend plenty of it worrying. 
Other than that, I will need to find some new ways to fill my day. I've been thinking about picking up a Game Boy. <laughs> she really is gonna ask the gamers out there what games she should play. I'm getting rather ahead of I'm just, myself. She should just start a YouTube channel. A a yeah, she I should. She has a lot of pent up energy. Oh. oh yeah. I hope it works out for you. Yeah, she, yeah, Wemgar, she's gonna start playing FF14. You're right. Oh, please do not let her play FF14. <laughs> crab bucket, crab bucket, crab bucket. Well, let's not just stare. Dig in. Uh, Mio just starts ripping it apart with her teeth. <laughs> It's fresh. <laughs> wow, okay. easier than trying to use my own claws. <laughs> also, Coach Sleepy says, this crab is huge. That means it's got huge guts. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Enjoying it? Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. Look, they're hungry. <laughs> Are you still hungry, Miho? Hungry? No. <laughs> Do I want to eat more? Yes. That was delicious. I could eat more. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> hungry. Could we get a second order of this, please? A second crab! I thought they'd get something oh my different. God. I don't know if I've ever been this full in my life. So sleepy and full Me of too. crab. <laughs> I think I'm set on crab for a long time now. Thanks for dinner though, Juliet. It was wonderful. Of course. It was my pleasure. I hope you've had a nice birthday. I certainly have. Now, if I can make it back home, I'll call it a success. I feel like I've put on several kilos just from that meal. Would you like me to call you a taxi? No, no, it's fine. Walking some of this off will be good for me. I still have to pack and get ready for tomorrow. I suppose Miho and I will head home as well, then. Does that sound okay, Miho? Yeah. Let's just... walk slow. <laughs> the evil Gumiho is pissed that she got to enjoy a crab dinner. Oh my god, the evil Gumiho is so pissed! Happy birthday again! I want that crab. Thank you again. Good night to you both. I'll see you two tomorrow. She's so jealous, it makes her look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Oh, okay. No events until... That's Saturday. The next day. Oh, she worried about her manuscript? Mm. 
Or maybe her parents. Ready to go to the bus station? Yeah. This way, you have as much time as possible to get back. Precisely. Thank you. Of course. It sounds like Aspen's actually just the kind of warrior that, like, if she has an obligation at a specific time, she cannot accomplish anything because it's like, well, what if I run out of time to finish my obligation? Yeah. That's just not when know. you get there. Like, oh, I've got four hours. I can't do anything for those four hours because I might get distracted. Have reception while traveling, but I'll send a message yeah, as soon for as sure, I learn. for sure. How long is your trip? Anxiety. If it was by car, only a couple hours. It'll be closer to four by bus, though. I'll take an early one on the way back tomorrow just to be safe. Ample reading time, it sounds like. Oh, yes. What, what's she reading? Patricia and I have a lot of catching up to do. That doesn't really narrow it down. No. There could be a lot of Patricias. <laughs> I don't think she's brought up another Patricia so far, right? In her... No, every time she's well, going to say a different author because be she's so well-read, you know? Right. Oh, oh, Sid's got it. Harry Patricia. Thank you. Oh my god. Goodbye, Aston. Good night, Miho. Bye. Later. Where exactly is the bus station? Not too far from my apartment. We'll pass it by on the way there. Should we stop by and say hi to the cats? I'm sure they'd love to see me. They're going to be angry enough at me for leaving for a day. I'm not sure I want to traumatize them right before I go. <laughs> oh, dang it. I've never gotten along with cats. Have you known many? Only a few. Some of the strays have some really good stories to tell. I thought for a minute this was going to be that, like, that transition was going to be a flashback to, like, her talking to a straight cat. <laughs> uh, what's it like talking to an animal, anyway? <laughs> How do you do it? Hell yeah. Uh, this is I'm the content sure. I crave. It was just something that I knew how to do. Like, making a den. A lot of the time, you can just feel what they mean without saying it. I don't know how to put it. No, that makes sense. There are some things that you just can't put into words as much as you'd like to. Like having a crush on exactly. a girl. <laughs> I have the problem a lie. I'll bet you don't, though. You'd lose that bet quite handily. Why, I'd say I struggle to put things into words more than anything. Because there's supposed to be really? knowing all the words How? and being able to use them. I <laughs> love writing. I do, usually, but it's not that simple. Sometimes you just can't use any old words. You have to use the right ones. And often that means going through lots and lots of the wrong ones until you find them. I think it's easier the way animals do it. Yeah. It certainly sounds like it. I often wonder if I could talk to Percy and Byron. They're named they Percy and Byron. Oh my goodness. This MF's cat's name is Byron. Oh my god. Well, maybe they now just you know. complain about me not feeding them enough or something. Do you want me to ask them? <laughs> hmm. It's tempting, but no thanks. As long as I don't know for a fact that they're saying rude So it's definitely like Lord Byron. I just feel like yeah. the Percy's very open open it. Percy Jackson. There we fucking go. <laughs> My whole cards made the same joke. Well, 
rather like that other cat in the box. Oh, it's actually okay. So Oh, you can't you can't explain this to Miho, Aspen. Aspen, you she she's so Aspen, you can't you can't Cats explain like Trogadier's cat. So they probably to me, huh? wouldn't be complaining. Also, apparently, uh, there is some relationship between Lord Byron and um, Percy Shelley, um, mm. who is the uh, you know the the husband of Mary Shelley. Ah, uh, quite what I meant. So someone I'll did say it. Shelley earlier. They were correct. Yeah. Eurofiver's very upset that I do not know the relationship between Percy Shelley and Lord Byron. And that's fair. I know very little about books. Are you looking forward to going home? Hmm. I am, yes. But like I said, I prefer to only do so for a day or two at a time. Because of your parents? A little. They're not really that bad, though. Mum's a worrywart and Dad isn't, so Mum feels like she needs to worry enough for both of them. It's not too bad over the phone. Would you like to know there, what the relation Mom is? Always tries to I would love me to. to. Stay and move back. Polycule. Really? Yeah! With Mary? <laughs> yeah! Wow! So I tell them they should move out here instead. And Incredible. Into why they can't, and it's just... I saw that they wrote Lisa. letters back and forth. Didn't think it went that far, but you know what? Good for them. Sounds like she cares about you a lot. She does. And I love her too, don't get me wrong. It's more the town than them. Oh, do they live out in the country? I guess maybe that's why she has to go by bus. What do you mean? They live in the middle of nowhere. Mum loves it out in the countryside and says she can't live without her backyard view and half a kilometer from the nearest neighbors. Big mood. Country living. I, on the other hand, can't live without bookstores and coffee shops and high speed internet. Damn. We know. Just like me. <laughs> I'm always saying this. So that's why you moved to Wellington? Well, she's young. That's why I moved to Wellington. It seemed like a necessity to make it as an author. I don't know. Plenty of authors lived out in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if it but worked out great for them. keep living at home. Like, yeah, that you know, too. She's got she's to gotta go out and find her own way. Can you only find the right words here? Exactly. At least, that's what I thought before I came. Turns out that moving to a new city won't magically make you a better writer. Or even a writer at all. Back when I was in school, I used to daydream about what life in the big city must be like. Busy and important things happening during the day, and then nights full of excitement and sparkling wonder. Instead, it's the bell house, and a tiny apartment the size of my living room back home. I thought if I put myself in this new environment, then I'd grow into the type of person who belonged there. I learned the hard way that places don't change who we are. Still, better to be struggling to make it in the city than doing nothing out in the boonies, I tell myself. I think it sounds pretty nice. Peace and quiet, nothing to have to worry about. Well, Miho, the difference is that you wouldn't have to maintain a house. <laughs> Ugh, not yeah. you too. That's exactly what my mum says. Trust me, it sounds better hearing about it than living it. Just like Wellington. Or any city, I'd imagine. I'm sure even Wellington must seem like a bore compared to some of the places you've been to. 
like Shanghai or Seoul. Well, yeah. I still like it, though. Those cities are too big for me. They're noisy and loud and smell bad and anything can be dangerous. You have to be on your guard all the time. Especially as an animal or criminal. It's not like that here. The yeah. scariest thing I've seen <laughs> is a movie. <laughs> That's true. I'm glad. I'm glad you liked it enough to stay. Also, I assume in the New Zealand boonies is where they keep all of the, like, venomous murder animals. Me too. Oh, yeah, right? It was like Australia. Yeah. Gotta be some murder animals there, too. Yeah, for sure. Let's ask Google. Dangerous animals in New Zealand. Big spider! Yeah, baby! The famous big spider of New Zealand. And, of Are course, the nervous? Portuguese man of war jellyfish. Right. Me. Can't escape via the ocean. No. No. Why would I be? <laughs> Do I seem nervous? Uh, yeah. That was Is some good voice acting. You don't have to worry about that. I've ridden on them lots of times and they only broke down like once. <laughs> no. That's beautiful. It's not that. <laughs> she hasn't been to the US. Yeah, I guess so. I, don't know. I'm not I mean, she probably has, but she probably didn't have to take a bus there. Yeah. Okay. You're not late, are you? Oh, I could have walked faster. No, no, we're right on time. It'll be here any minute now. Cool. I'll wait with you till it arrives. Aspen? Are you all right? <gasps> no. Wait. Miho, I have to tell you something. No. Oh, shit. Something that I've been thinking about telling you for a long time. Oh my god! What? But it was one of those things where I wasn't sure how. Is this why she invited us to go to the bus? I didn't know how you'd take it. But then, after we all talked the other night, I realized that I should just say it anyway. <laughs> it says, Aspen, the way you didn't know how to read made me want to wife you. <laughs> because no matter what, I know I would regret it more later if I didn't. QB says, we're you getting you a cell phone. I might <laughs> so I thought about it. A lot. What the right words were. And I just couldn't figure it out. Did we get routed? We're routed, baby! So, so I didn't prepare. Did we get routed? We only made two choices. And the other one was for Juliet. I'm shocked. But I guess we had to get routed. So maybe because we followed more of um Lena's story, which is inadvertently Aspen's story. <laughs> Wait, because this Miho learns about gay panic. <laughs> Miho has to go up on the internet and learn about lesbians. <laughs> I want you to know. Miho, I... 
I used to think that there was no way someone like you could exist. An adult right. who can't Aspen, read? You are you are someone fucking making circles around this. World like you do. And is honest about what you see. The good and the bad. Everything Aspen says sounds backhanded. That's why we love her. And at the same time, someone who doesn't realize just how much she has to offer. Yeah, uh oh, you don't know you're just beautiful. You make, <laughs> you make That's what makes you beautiful. Happy. But here you are. Maybe meeting you used up all my luck for the rest of my life. But here you are. And I love you. And I just couldn't keep not telling you that. In case maybe oh my you love God. me too. This is, this is crazy. Oh my god. I couldn't keep I feel like I've just been hit by a buzz. Not knowing. <laughs> now that I've said it, it feels so good to have out there. I love She started you. this out hating us. Oh I my god. You. At first I wasn't sure because everything seemed too perfect and unreal. I thought that I was just letting myself get carried away like I always do. A silly little daydream, but it's You're gonna have to explain this concept to me. <laughs> it makes me feel silly how much already when I think of how utterly stupid it always sounded to me when reading about love at first sight. But how could it this be? This is bananas. <laughs> Aspen, this is crazy. Aspen, you. My you life was changed Aspen. The moment I saw you. I just didn't know it yet. Now I do. Now we both do. I love you, Miho. It's out there, and I can't take it back. <laughs> what is Miho gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> no thoughts. Head no empty. No thoughts, head empty. Oh, wait, okay, never mind. <laughs> is me? Is me? I. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Shh. Don't. Don't tell me. I said it now before I leave for a reason, because I thought you might say that. Tomorrow, whatever it is you feel, I'll hear it then. This is fair, because it's like, oh, you have some yeah. time to process it. Because also you're a fox. <laughs> Rainy says Miho just shouts, get out of my school. <laughs> <laughs> if Juliet confesses to us when we walk back, I'm going to shit myself. No, I don't think that's... They couldn't do that, right? They wouldn't they, do that. Well, do you think Studio Elan would do that? They would make me choose? No. As if that wasn't one of the most important things I've ever said in my life. <laughs> that's, um, that's my boss. So, I'll see you tomorrow, Mio. <laughs> Since as Mio is making the Tails gets okay. trolled face. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Coach Sleepy says Studio Elan is going to shit your pants. <laughs> Being friends like normal, I'm fine with that. Uh, More than fine. I'm just glad that I took the chance to tell you. I'm so glad that my wife Aspen told me that she loved me. Mine are the pants that are about to be pissed. <laughs> Goodbye, hug. Yeah. Bye, Miho. Bye. Damn, wow. that's crazy. <laughs> oh.
Oh no! I feel like Juliet's route has got to be completely different. Like, oh yeah. She doesn't say her feelings until the very end. I wonder if she even like. I wonder if any of this even happens on not. I guess maybe the the bus stuff probably still happens. Like she still goes to see her parents, but she doesn't do all this. Yeah. Whoa! New outfit. No, it's just her. Just her. No, it is just her casual. Mia, did something happen? Boy, did it, Juliet. Hmm. Aspen said she's in love with me. <laughs> Juliet falls oh, down the stairs. <laughs> she just said, uh huh. <laughs> she closes the door. Give me just a moment, and I'll meet you in my study. Bats. What? Cats? Oh, bats. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Little guys. Where's that sprite? Show it to me. We gotta see Ow. him. Where do they go? Show me the bat Sorry, sprite. scared off all your bats. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry. I'll be back before too long. <laughs> Why are guys suggesting that Juliet's gonna have to give Mio the talk? <laughs> the birds and the bees. Yeah. That's weird, because she's a fox. We... We had just gotten to the bus station when she stopped and... Said it. She's like, as a vampire, I've had humans fall in love with she me many times. Until just before she left, so and as you can expect, I've been very normal about it. Until <laughs> when she gets home. And what are your feelings? I don't fucking know. I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. I haven't ever thought about love. Or someone being in love with me. I don't even really know what it means. I know the word, but how does it feel? How would I know? Oh God, we're gonna have to have a lot of talks. Talked about how you <laughs> loved Cosette, and how you didn't know much about love before then. Coach Sleepy says, gotta say, that's a bonkers move from Aspen, because she's got to be thinking about Miho's reaction the whole time she's at her parents. Yeah, that's how she survives the trip. <laughs> That's how she survives being there. It's like, this okay, well, I get out and I'll get an answer. Right? Yeah. God, Aspen's so toxic. I love her. <laughs> Absolute psycho bitch material right there. Just reminds me of myself at that age. Uh, of course, the bond between a parent and their child is different than that of two partners. But it comes from the same part of the heart. The part that you give away to somebody else. Love is when you care about another person so much that the feeling becomes bigger than you. When your life is more full and joyful for the presence of that person in it. I could throw out any number of cliches, but they'd be... Brady points out she is secretly unhinged just like Lena, who is openly unhinged. And very yeah. correct. There's, there's more, there's more about, common about them than they maybe want to admit. Yeah. To speak from my own experiences, love is like a flower. It starts as something tiny, but as it's nurtured and cared for, it grows. It reaches toward the sunlight and towards something better and blooms into something beautiful. Not all flowers grow at the same rate, and not all flowers look the same. But wouldn't you agree that that's the joy of flowers, Mia? I like flowers, but I've never grown one before. It says, Miho, I mostly eat flowers. Everyone at some point. 
But as long as you're willing to give it the time and patience that it deserves. And you're going to need a lot of patience for Aspen. Woo, buddy. Can become something wonderful. Yeah. You should take some time to yourself, Miho. We can talk about it later tonight, if you're ready. If you needed even more time, I'm sure Aspen would understand. Yeah. Yeah. I need to think about it. Mio turns on turns on the uh, TV and it's just to a bunch of chick flicks and is like, I'm gonna understand this one way or another. <laughs> you up. Or keeping you up. Whichever. It's no trouble at all. I'm glad that you felt comfortable coming to me about this. Because in another route, it would have been it me doing this. I did. Hmm. Thanks, by the way. You helped me out a lot. Of course. It's my pleasure. It's what friends are for. Did I agree that Juliet should have suspenders? We've never like seen makes... Aspen in like truly casual wear, have we? I wonder what that's like. That is her casual wear. She's just like that. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Again, we did clock her as a booktuber, so. Yeah. Yeah, Aspen can't be casual like other... Aspen reminds me so much of myself at that age in that way. <laughs> I also was incapable of being casual at 24. Right on time, like always. I was just about to call for you. I heard you get up a little while ago. I was still doing some thinking, though. I see, I see. So, I take it that means you've made up your mind about Aspen, then? Yeah. It wasn't easy. But I have. What if it gives us a choice? Wouldn't that, that be fucked I'm up? I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Shall we sit? Yeah. I wonder what I the point distribution is like, though. Again, we only had the two choices, and one of them we helped Juliet. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm guessing some of it is the people that exactly. we hang out with, right? Like, it's gotta be like... Unless it, this Maybe. happens every time, in that case, that's fucked up. That would be funny. Okay, what? I think it, I would feel too mean to say no at this point, right? Yeah, I think the, uh, like, how I feel about where Miho is right now is I feel like um, Miho is not in a place where she can, like, like, there's no way, she doesn't even know what she's assenting to in terms of a relationship, but mm -hmm. also, like, I think that she should do this. Like, she should go on dates with Aspen. Like, Aspen saying I love you before anything is a little insane. But she's toxic. We love her. We love we love that behavior. Um, great job. Reminds me of myself. Um, but uh, I think it will be... I think it's the only way that Miho is going to know what all of this is about is if she does have these experiences. Hmm. So I I think I mean I want to be on the Aspen route personally like between the two of them like I think that that makes a lot of sense to me um because I feel like I feel like Juliet and, I mean I feel like Juliet and Miho would have like I mean they're immortal they so, have like, more to connect to on that in that specific way so like 
in that way I get it, but also I feel like Juliet is one thousand percent like too mature and like parental for it to really work between them. I feel like there's like a power yeah. discrepancy, right? Like, like there's already a, an ocean of difference between Miho and Aspen, and like there's an ocean of difference uh, between Aspen and Juliet. Like we're already like way far out in terms of the like life experience thing. Also. Juliet and Miho are both immortal. I just, I feel like it makes a lot of sense for them to be friends. And they, yeah. uh, if they, you know, because they're going to know each other for a really long time. Like, why mess that up by having a romantic relationship? Yeah. I think that, honestly, it just is more equal, despite everything, with Aspen. Both two people in over their heads and sort of trying to find a new <laughs> step in life, you know? I don't understand why Aspen is attracted to Miho. Let's unpack um, that. She looks nice. What has Aspen done that has been like, oh, I love you? Oh, what, what has Mio done that makes Aspen what, love? What? No, what has Aspen done to show us that she loves Miho up until I, now? See, here's the thing, right? You you made the joke, right, that you're so jealous that it makes you look stupid. Mm-hmm. Same vibe. I think that she has been maybe a little more aggressive because she's wrestling with the feelings of liking yeah, Miho. Yeah, I think so. I think that, like, retroactively She's 24. That's how you show emotion. Yeah. Is that you're maybe a little more mean than you are with your other friends. <laughs> But not, but like a like playful way, not like actively. I like how we've infantilized being twenty-four. That's how old we are now, where we're like, oh, when you're just a little twenty-four-year-old baby, you can't be upfront about your emotions. That's not even infantilizing. <laughs> I think it's just honest. <laughs> I don't know. People are already married with children by age twenty-four. <laughs> That's true. Do I think that they have everything together at that point? Not really. Mm -hmm. I think they make it work, but like, you know. I don't think that means they're fully matured. Anyways, yeah. we should try things with Aspen. Yeah. I want to try things with Aspen. What kind of things, you ask? Well. I know it'll be hard, but I want to try. Then now this is the slow jam for romance. Friday says, so like, what age does that happen? Asking for a friend. That you mature? Uh, 85. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's actually after you've already been married for 10 years. Yeah, it, it takes forever. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry to say. I know she's a human, and so... Anyone who puts a number to it is lying. But I can't just always run away from things that are painful. Damn. Because Preach. If it hurts, that means it was important, doesn't it? It's like they fucking said in The Hobbit. Why does it hurt so much? Because it was real. <laughs> yeah, they said that in The Hobbit. Is. They did That's in the movie. Nice way to think about it. <gasps> they did? Yeah. In the movie? They literally say that in the movie. <gasps> one of wow. the movies. I think it's the first one. Or how to be wow, wow, wow. But I'm willing to learn. And try. Trying is all anyone could ask of you. Aspen or otherwise. Well, you both what also you have haven't do? been in a relationship. You so both are on equal footing as far as this goes. Yeah. Aspen saying that she's in love, like, minute one, is so... For both of you. Chef's kiss. <laughs> Ray Day says, me changing my Facebook relationship status to trying things. Is that an option now? Last time I saw it, it was only, it's complicated. <laughs> Which also rocks. Yeah. Too much personal information. No, that, of course not. You can only change your MySpace status. That's right. 
to whatever you I want. I wish she was here, so I could tell her right now. Tomorrow seems so far away. Well, she said she's taking the early bus back, so. Same thing. Still, it is rather like her to say something so momentous and then disappear. It took quite a while for her to work up the courage to tell you. Oh my god. <sighs> I wouldn't be surprised if she borrowed the idea from some book or another. Yeah. I love how to Juliet we are all children. Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. To and Juliet everyone right. is baby. She's right. And wait. You knew she was going to tell me? Hmm. Not exactly. <gasps> I've known for a long time that she held feelings for you. She never told me. You know, 24 year olds bully people when they like them. Particularly subtle. I never noticed. But I guess I don't know what I would have been looking for either. I think maybe the difference is we're, it's not infantilizing as much as we're like talking about them like they're wild animals. And at 24, you're a wild animal to me. All that's important is that she was able to tell you how she felt. And you were able to accept those feelings. Anything along the way was but a means to the same end. <laughs> Makar says Torridors have the aspects discipline and can read emotions. Great. <laughs> I could eat crab. Yeah. Maybe all the talking about, like, love and not knowing about it was also part supposed to be a hint. Is like, she just keeps talking about mm. it. Like, haha. Haha, -ha, unless... I bet the Aww. evil Gumiho is fucking seething right now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Isolation cells be seething over relationship <laughs> chads. <laughs> This is cute. Yeah. This this feels very like like teenage practice relationship type of thing, but I, you know, yeah. I'm curious to see what kind of things Miho is going to do to like learn about like what a relationship is. She's going to read a lot of self-help books, relationship advice yeah. books. That's what she's going to actually learn to read. Yeah, she's going to have to learn how to read. Good morning. Hey! I didn't wake you up, did I? No, not at all. Although I was upstairs, I thought I'd wait and have breakfast with you like usual. Oh, thanks! Uh, sorry for keeping you waiting. I kind of fell asleep late, so I slept in too. I was just thinking about my first crush. I'm sure you Aspen. Have lots on your mind. <laughs> you can say that again. Are you hungry for anything in particular? Now her cats are gonna have to like us, by the way. Not really. Oh, yeah. Maybe something light? I don't think I can finish a big meal right now. <laughs> but if Fruit and cheese, you, you shouldn't have. <laughs> nah, I haven't eaten anything. <laughs> cool. Uh, that kicks ass. Uh, set, set, set it up a uh, little tee ball, a little softball right there. That's right. We like, look, we like to make jokes here. Aspen did the difficult task of taking the first step. By we, I mean Studio Elon. We don't make jokes on this yeah. show. No. That's true. 
true. I feel like we here at Date Night are, are firmly on the side of the people who do the confessing do versus the, the people who get me? confessed to. I'm leaving after we're done eating. So we're the we're on the we're on the cringe side of this. We're 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 team Aspen. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're getting owned yes, in our own chat. But thank you. The two of you will have plenty to talk about on your own, I'm sure. But I imagine I'll see. We should have never gone to see it chapter two. <laughs> During the day. Definitely. Oh my god. Uh, chat is rebelling against us. We're gonna have to bring it back. We're gonna have to think of a single joke to make in the next ten minutes. Oh no. girls. Animals don't have to think. I think that's beautiful. See that? See that, like, squiggly line that turns into a person in the background? Yeah. That's how it feels to be in love. Yeah. You know, you always think of, like, the confession place as it has to be somewhere very romantic, right? Yeah. This is a bus stop. Yeah. A little less well, romantic. I mean, you know, it's not the most romantic of all the romantic locations you have to figure out, right? I mean, I right. feel like the, like, the proposal location, you know, is, like, the, the big granddaddy version of this. And that's really important. But It's going to be here the again. Confession... It's not always under your control. Sure. Sometimes it just happens. Good thing she left early. Yeah, first date location, first kiss location. First kiss is over a big crab. Told you. Delayed. Says it right here. Guess I owe you a tenner. It say how long? Nope. Just says delayed due to vehicle issues. Oh my god. Oh is my that, god. Is that the oh fisher? My god. Is that is that our is that our fisherman dad yeah. with a deep yeah, voice? That's, okay. Yeah, that's that's dad. Uh what if she's delayed more than twenty four hours? Oh shit. But it was like midday, uh, right? Excuse me. Which bus is it that's delayed? Yeah, that would be fun. Oh, that's probably what's setting up, though, right? Four. You waiting for it too? Oh my god! 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 I don't know which, but she was supposed to be here ten minutes ago. I, well, probably the same one then. Bad luck, but it does happen every now and then. I hope you weren't in a hurry. I was actually. Do you know what they'll do? <laughs> What'll happen? I to kill them on the bus. Well, I imagine the city will have to send someone out, figure out what's wrong, fix it, or send a replacement. We're gonna, we're gonna have to fucking get I'm a cab. Sure your friend will get here one way or oh another. Oh my god! But it could be ours. You might want to give them a call and find out where they are. Might be quicker for them to find their own ride home. Oh, but her phone doesn't work! No! She doesn't have a phone. Well, no, um, no, uh, Aspen's phone doesn't work. It has no reception out there. Ah, uh, yeah, but hey. also, like, we Good hope luck. wouldn't... She doesn't know Aspen's phone number. She doesn't know yeah, anything Yeah, that's... About well, it. she got Juliet. There's probably enough time at least to get back and call.
Oh, this might... I, I don't think she's going to forget. I think that's the big reveal. That's got to be the secret, unless we solve it. I don't know. Miho? What's wrong? Aspen's bus still isn't here. Someone at the station said one of them broke down on the way. What if it was hers? Juliet also doesn't know how to use a phone. <laughs> it seems you're right. What do we do? How long do you have left? Two hours. A little less. She shouldn't be too far away. I'll try calling her. She did say that she'd have poor reception en route. <sighs> Hear me, ho. Keep trying. I'll be back in a moment. My bat Julia. friends will fly us there. Juliet's gonna have to drive. And she can't drive, but she does have a car. Yeah, absolutely. She swore. She swore. Aspen said fuck. She said fuck. It's canon. Can you hear me? Yeah. Good. I can't move from this spot then. It's the only place I have service. Where are you? God, we're so close. I can literally see the city in the distance. Something's wrong with the bus. I don't know what. They said there's another one coming to pick us up, but I'm not sure when it's supposed to be here. We only have two hours before. I know. Trust me, I know. I was hoping the replacement would be here sooner, but that's not going to happen. Aspen, you said you're close. Do you know where exactly? I don't know, but there's just the one road into the city, and I can see it. I have to drone drop uh, Miho well into do. the Actually, area. I'll start walking towards the city, and hopefully I'll see the other bus on the way. Aspen, be careful. My god. Will that work? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do it anyway. Does this not count? I feel like phone this should count. count. I feel like phone should count. Yeah, I feel like Look, communication should ca count for sure. Wherever you are. You said it's just one road, right? I'll meet you on it. You... Okay. I understand. I'll be there on time. I promise. <laughs> Alright, now here's how we find out how mature Aspen is, right? I, based on this, I don't think it's going to happen, but I can imagine Aspen doing the thing where, like, she pretends that she forgot and then goes, haha, just kidding. Okay. Oh, no. But I don't think she, she can has do too, that. She has too bad anxiety for that. Yeah. Hold on to it. You can bring it back to me after you find her. How do I get there? going to try to find a taxi between traffic and everything else i'm not sure it would be faster it's so far away though miho are you sure you'll be all right so you can just go fox mode i will true right I have to be she's carry she's the she's only issue is that she has to carry the phone in her mouth then and Thanks. um hopefully she has a screen protector <laughs> <Thank me. laughs> 
Do you think Juliet would have a screen protector? I don't Just think like so. Just like that fox. Do you remember that fox from that video that was going around that stole the phone from its trainer and it was oh, like yeah. laughing the whole time? Where we're going, Where we're going. we need rocks. <laughs> All right, well, that was our joke. I hope everyone liked that and stopped <laughs> bullying us. <laughs> End stream. <laughs> She's running with the phone in her mouth, just like an anime girl running to school with toast in her mouth. That's right. She gonna make it? She's gotta make it. There's no way she doesn't, right? If she doesn't, then I feel like that's when we're gonna find out that the curse is lifted. Right. The power of love. Oh, maybe. Yeah, the music's trying to encourage us to calm down. Aww. Miho. Now we're gonna pass out. <laughs> yeah. Miho. Honestly shocked. <laughs> girls, everyone, girls in the chat. Can we get a fucking girls in the chat? Woo! Folks. Oh, this is very cute. Wow, look at that. I what a couple see, of nerds. See, you thought about what I said. And practically nothing else. So I wasn't the only one then. <sighs> There's so much more I want to say, but this is hardly the place to say it now, is it? Heck, yeah, can we get home? <laughs> It's kind of a long way. I will say, looking at this, I'm shocked that Aspen's taller than Miho. Yeah, Aspen's the tallest. I have all the time in the world. Oh, how adorable.
We did it, gamers. Oh, shit. All right, we'll come back to this next time. Yeah. Look, it's a ball. Look, it's her in there now. It's her. All right, how are we feeling about oh, this week of here? Please Be Happy Gaming? I thought that was really effective, um, you know, to have the, like, sudden confession, and then it's like, well, what, how on earth is Miho supposed to know how she feels? And then this is such a great way to, um, make it, make it obvious to Miho, who is not as aware of her own emotions now she can take a step back look at her actions and and be like oh obviously i i feel the same way uh, i mm. thought that was really really effective yeah i think that was good i think that it also i think that it did resolve the whole like issue from last time as well like her her feelings about death is like I think that she was able to come to a quick resolution about like there's no reason for me to be mad about it right like I should have recognized this, and now all I can do is share this with other people as I try to learn more about them, right? Um, I kind, I kind of. I would say, like, if it's going to be resolved that quickly, then I think that my my feeling still stands about my criticism of it, where it could sure have it been didn't need to be like in a this. more nuanced way. Um, but I'm glad that we didn't linger on that for a long time. Yeah. And yeah, I do think that the this the way that they're handling the romance with this was good. If I'm a little shocked that it showed up this early in the game. I guess I don't know how many chapters Please Be Happy does, but I I'm kind of shocked that it showed up now. You know. Yeah, I well I think I think that's just part of Aspen's character. Oh, you know? sure. She says it right off the bat, and now we're going to spend, you know, the remaining chapters actually building the relationship. Versus, like, I th I'm sure with Juliet, it's more that you continue to spend time together and you get closer and closer, and then it ends with her being like, oh, I love you. Yeah. But it was good. No, I liked it a lot. I think that the way that they handled Aspen's confession and then the subsequent, like, drama, as it were, you know? Yeah. I think it was good. No, that was really good. Yeah, that was classics of romance right there. Yeah. It was really done well. I'm, again, shocked that we ended up on this one just naturally. Yeah, I'm glad. The, I, the game detected what I wanted to do and then gave it to me. <laughs> it's my birthday. I think that's beautiful. And for my birthday, I wanted my I wanted my my love Aspen to confess to me in f from first person perspective. <laughs> right. <laughs> Turns directly uh, to the viewer and says, I love you. Wow. Is this an Otome or what? <laughs> God damn. Girl. No, that was really good. I think it was it was done really well. The CG is super nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I um, love this. Going to see It Chapter 2, very funny. Yeah, It Chapter 2 matinee showing. No, it's great. I guess clowns... <laughs> I thought clowns were supposed to be funny. I guess this one didn't get the memo. Yeah, that one, that's just very good. I think her, her read on that was really great. So funny. This like, clown's that, causing that chaos line, again. Yeah, that line... Those lines were definitely in there, like, as a goof, as a joke, to make us laugh because those words are in the game. Like They were to, they were to attack us line. specifically also. Yeah, Studio Alon, they're just like us. They're also posters. They're also online. Oh, yeah. They're also gays online. So, like, if you're worried, like, oh, it, that's so embarrassing or that's funny, like, did they know Did they know what they were doing? Like, absolutely, they know everything that they're doing. I feel like it's very silly to, like, look yeah. at media and go, do they think they knew that they wrote something funny or good? It's like, yeah. Yeah. That's why they wrote it. They're so, God, they're so galaxy brain over at Studio Alon. I love yeah. them. So I've seen this criticism pop up in other places. It's just like, yeah, people write these things because they think it's going to be good. That was, it was a fun time. Yeah. No, this was good. 
I'm very curious to see what happens next. I, you know, uh, what are they, I seem, it's gonna be funny because they're finally both gonna be doing something that neither of them knows how to do. Uh, mm. <laughs> and, and I think that will be very interesting. Um, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, I, because it's a sweet game and everything, like obviously it's gonna work out for them. Um, but, uh, but you know, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot to, to work through. Um, for both of them in order to have a relationship. They're both really inexperienced. They don't know their own feelings yet. So they're really, you know, I'm really curious to see what they do together in order to discover that. Yeah. Also, it looks like, um, it looks like this chapter is just going to be like as long as all the other chapters together. This ah. is like the final chapter, but it's like very long. Mm. Okay. So yeah, I'm excited to see how our relationship builds because neither of us know what we're doing and I hope Aston gets her book deal. Yeah, we'll see. I'm curious about it. Kind of unceremoniously dropped that um, of like, and she's done now. Like, I kind of <laughs> thought she would talk a little bit more about having trouble finishing it, but they, I mean, who knows, right? Like, I mean, as we yeah. know from real life, the first one doesn't always doesn't always get picked up and you know you got to keep trying or revise it yeah or, or something like that and um you get picked up by like an know, indie publisher i think it's a lot of work so oh yeah you know maybe she might have still have some setbacks but you know she's and she's got to figure it out and, and keep trying but um i think that'll be really cool yeah very excited to see how it all out turns out between uh you know, Miho and, uh, Miho and Aspen, and also how Juliet fits into this. Yeah. I'm glad Juliet's there to guide them. Um. Someone's gotta help. be. <laughs> Someone's gotta know what, what is going on. And I hope we still get to learn stuff about Juliet. Oh, her, yeah. Her whole deal as well. Yeah, I guess that means that if we followed, like, I don't know, Tommy's story, maybe we would we would have seen we would have gotten the Juliet route but I don't know maybe yeah. we can think about doing it I don't know yeah um if we do end up doing both of them then I think this is a good order yeah to do it in uh cause obviously it's like we sort of have the more naive versus the more mature routes um, yeah but yeah very cute very cute picture um I, you know, I'm not as tuned into the chemistry between these three characters, um, so I'm I'm very curious about sort of how that is going to continue to be expressed and yeah. how they're how they're compatible. I'm I'm very curious about that. You know, very excited to see how this all turns out. Very excited to see how these characters develop. You know. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. I love my tall wife. <laughs> <laughs> my tall judgy wife. <laughs> who needs to start a YouTube channel about book opinions. I think that is how she's going to have to do it in between writing books. How's she going to explain what YouTube is to Miho? Uh, it's like TV for a computer. Yeah. It's like public access. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No holds barred public access programming. That's fucking right. Anyway, thank you for joining us, everyone. Yes, thank you for joining us. I hope you had as good a time as we did. Checking out more Please Be Happy. Folks. Girls. Folks. Girls. I agree. And you all should, too. You're not, I ban I you. Yeah, I love reading. <laughs> but until next time, when we start Aspen's Route, I've been Chorps Away. I've been Girls. And this has been Date Night. And you are the stars. Sweet Dreams. And Games Cameron.